Welcome back to another Seed of Melanin Story Time. We have a great book for you today. It's called Malik and the Magic Bowtie. It was written by Ray Young Jr. and illustrated by Tyrus Gaucher. We hope you enjoy it. It was a day before the election and Malik was writing his speech. He was in the race for class president. He stayed up all weekend preparing. Malik's dad walked into his son's room and noticed all the crumbled pieces of paper on the floor. Hey son, how's the speech coming? Great, Malik said, reassuring himself. I think I have the winning speech right here. Care if I read it? asked his dad. Malik shook his head yes and handed over the paper. This is great, son. It's much better than the one I wrote when I was your age. Wait, wait, wait. You ran for class president? I sure did, Malik's dad said proudly. I won, too. Malik started to feel discouraged. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll never win class president. There's not one kid in the whole class who looks like me. And I don't have very many friends. I've been trying to secure votes. I've done everything I could. And they still don't like me. I understand, son. I look different from my classmates, too. And I also didn't have many friends, his dad said with his hands on Malik's shoulder. Wait here. I have something for you. Malik's dad went into his room and returned with a small red box. What's this? Malik asked as he reached for the box and uncovered a bow tie. This bow tie was mine, and it was my father's, and before that, his father's. This bow tie has been in the family for generations, and it's going to help you win that title. Malik looked at the tie confused. Sure, it's a great tie, but nobody wears ties like this anymore, Dad. People are going to laugh at me. They might laugh, but you shouldn't care what they think. Besides, this tie is magic. Magic? What do you mean it's magic? You'll see, his dad said as he walked away. Malik was feeling nervous about his big speech. He also knew the importance of a good night's sleep. He looked over his speech one more time and went to bed. The next morning while Malik got ready for school, he put on his regular tie. He stared in his closet at his dad's magical bow tie and decided to put it in his book bag just in case. Hey Malik! Stanley the class bully yelled across the cafeteria. Ready for today's election? I hope you brought a box of tissues for your tears after you lose. Malik's classmates laughed and he ran to the bathroom. Malik looked at himself in the bathroom mirror. What's the point? Malik said as he threw off his tie. There's no way I can win the election. Just then, Malik remembered his dad's words. They might laugh, but you shouldn't care about what they think. Besides, this tie is magic. That afternoon, Malik decided to wear his father's bow tie, and once it was on, he knew he looked sharp. As he walked to his class, prepared to deliver his speech, he felt like a winner and smiled confidently. When his teacher called his name up to present his speech, he put his paper down and spoke from his heart. As your class president, I promise to do more than just bring you pizza parties every month and create a new recess schedule. 
I promise to stand up for the students who are bullied. I promise to listen to your problems. And I promise to be true to myself. I hope it encourages you to be true to yourselves too. Malik won the election that day, as well as the respect of his classmates. As he walked in the house with his bow tie still tied, he smiled at his dad and said, You're right, this tie is magic. Well, that's it for another Seed of Melanin story time. As we read, Malik and the magic bow tie. We hope that you gain confidence in everything that you do. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.